Good morning and welcome to this morning's assembly. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, our Heavenly Father, help us to remember that wherever we are, you are with us. Teach us to pray to you and to hear your voice. We ask for your blessing on our school. May it be a place where we learn to know you and explore life in all its fullness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We're going to start our assembly by listening to a few different sounds. And I'd like you to have a think about what these different sounds are. So here is our first sound. Listen very carefully. Yes, that was the sound of birds singing, birdsong. And now our second sound. That, as I'm sure you guessed, was the sound of rain. And now for our third and final sound. Yes, I'm sure we all managed to work out that that is the sound of a dog barking. So you've listened very well to those various sounds. Now let us listen to this morning's story. Our story this morning is about a monk called Benedict and his sister Scholastica. Scholastica was the twin sister of Benedict and she became a nun living in a convent nearby to Monte Cassino where the monastery that Benedict lived in was. The rules of Benedict's and Scholastica's communities said that monks couldn't enter convents and nuns couldn't enter monasteries. Men and women had to live separately. So they met only once a year in a house between his monastery and her convent. In the year 543, Scholastica felt her life was coming to an end. She wanted Benedict to stay the night and talk with her. No, he said kindly, that would be against our rule. A monk can't spend a night with a nun, even if they're brother and sister. So Scholastica began to pray that he would be able to stay with her. And immediately, a terrible thunderstorm began. There was no question of Benedict going back to his monastery that night. What have you done? he asked. Well, she said, you refused my request when I asked you, she said. But when I asked God if you could stay here, he said yes and sent the storm. In the early church, the first Christians shared everything they had with one another, and they met together regularly to pray together and eat together. Benedict and Scholastica lived several hundred years after these first Christians, but as monks and nuns, they were keen to keep these principles of sharing things in common and praying and eating together alive. Rather than marrying, monks live with a group of other monks and nuns live with a group of other nuns. They refer to each other as brothers and sisters and the leader of the community is known as an abbot or um, an abbess or mother or father. They often wear a habit which is just a plain garment and as this is part of their commitment to live simply. They also have a list of rules that they live by. When they become a monk or a nun, they make various promises. They promise to live simply, so they don't own anything individually. They promise to live with other monks or nuns rather than to marry. And they promise to obey the abbot or the mother superior. This is a special calling and it's certainly not for everyone. It's a very ordered life which enables people to spend their lives very much with God. At the centre of the way in which they live together is listening to God and listening to one another. And although we are not monks and nuns, we can learn something from their way of life, which is the importance and value of listening, something that we've already practised this morning. So why not try and take some time every day to sit and listen? To listen to yourself, how you are feeling and to take time to think about how others might be feeling. 
and to listen to what God might be saying to you in the situation that you're in. So let us come to a time of prayer. And do join in with my prayer by saying Amen at the end if you would like to. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the story of Benedict and Scholastica. Help us like them to learn to listen to you and to spend time with you. And help us also to learn to listen to those we live and learn with. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope you all have a very good week. Goodbye. <laughs>